The other day I came across this really cool app, it's called Hello Talk, and it actually reminded me of why it was so difficult to learn Chinese in the past. Because back in the day I had to use something called a dictionary. And this is a special little book that you use to look up the words in a different language so you can learn. But it was really, really difficult, and I think a lot of people get confused. Because I watch my videos and they see a progression of Chinese language skill and my life in China, but it was way after I moved here when I started to make videos. So you missed out on all the difficult struggles that I had when actually trying to learn Chinese. Now, long story short, I was approached the other day by some people that wanted me to check out this app. And this app, Hello Talk, is a fantastic way to meet people and be able to learn languages, not just Chinese from all around the world. And I was actually getting really frustrated when I was playing with it because of how difficult it used to be to try to learn Chinese even when I was living in China. A lot of people go kind of under the assumption that you learn a language just by immersion, but that's just one piece of it, right? Now, back in the day, I was basically going around and trying to have conversations in Chinese with people, but if I didn't know a word, I was kind of out of luck because a lot of the times I wasn't able to find it in the dictionary and I couldn't read Chinese characters. It's not like studying Spanish or something like that where you can actually kind of make a pronunciation out of the letters. Chinese is based off of thousands and thousands of intricate, unique characters, so it made it twice as hard to learn the language as well. If you watch my videos, you know I'm married to a beautiful Chinese girl who actually was able to speak English. Um, it's been almost eight years now, and we've gone through a lot. I've learned her language, she's learned mine. Everything's hunky-dory now, and all of you probably know our happy story. You know, we're happily married four years now, and we have a, a one-year-old daughter. But I always try to think, what if we just weren't able to communicate with each other? What would have happened? Hi. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Do you speak English? Why don't you, why don't you give me your number? Why don't you call me? Here. Uh, no, no, like call me, like your phone number. Can you give me your phone number? Yes. Yes. Do you have Facebook? 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 Give me your Facebook, please. Hi, I'm happy to meet you. I'm really glad to meet you. Hi. Hi. Happy. Yeah. Can you teach me that? Learning. I'm learning Chinese. You're learning English. Learning. Learning. Learn. L. Learn. Learn. Learning. Learning. What do you like to do in your free time? Free time is what? Let me see. Free, 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 free. F, 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 F. A bird? What, what, what are you drinking? Drink. Mm. What? What? You're gonna go? Okay. Uh, I'll I'll uh, use Facebook. I'll use Facebook to contact you. Facebook. Okay. Good. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Would have ended up. What do you think? There is a heart. Totally broken, right? Now, the thing is, like, I wanted to kind of get into how I actually learned Chinese, and I wanted to point out a lot of people think that when I got here, 
because I wasn't filming videos back then, that magically or miraculously my Chinese was like totally fine because they didn't see like the, the struggle process of me learning. <laughs> Do you remember, because I was never shy about it, right? Do you remember when I tried to speak Chinese to you within our first year of meeting back in like 2009? Do you that remember? was awful. I don't even want to listen your Chinese tone. I would just give up and shut that, shut my ear. It's because back then it was this simple. This is how I learned Chinese. I carried a dictionary with me. I looked like an absolute dork. I'd have a pencil and I couldn't really look up Chinese words. And I'm not going to get into how the Chinese language works so much, but how do you look up a character? I mean, there's 20,000 something characters, right? So how am I going to look up characters in a dictionary if I don't know it? Mm -hmm. So what I would do is have really, really awkward conversations with Chinese people like yourself, right? And I would go and every time I didn't know a word, I would ask the Chinese person what that word meant. Nine times out of 10, they don't speak English, so it doesn't really help, right? So they would jot down some some handwriting character and I go back and be like, how am I supposed to study this? You know, it's just complete limbo I was stuck in and it really slowed down my language learning process. Uh, also, I would kind of try to tell stories in Chinese and then when I run into a roadblock, I mean, I would often find that you don't have the patience to be able to help me out through the conversation, so I'd try to get other people to do it. It was a nightmare. <laughs> I'm actually really frustrated and angry that nowadays people have it so easily. This is the first time that I was really excited about a product or an app and also incredibly angry because <laughs> it's literally Hello Talk. It's like this social media app and it runs just like WeChat or Facebook. Mm -hmm. So you still have the features like uh, you have your moments so you post like a blog. But also there's functionality to where you can actually correct people's language. Yeah. So I signed up as a Chinese learner, you signed up as a English learner. Right, even though we both speak the languages. <laughs> Just to test it out though. Mm -hmm. And what was it like? It was kind of like people could find you? Yeah, people can... Not, first of all, they, get, they give you the best match. And then second, they can uh, give you the people nearby. And also, they can show you who is actually online. Right, so it's kind of like you can meet people for the explicit purpose mm -hmm. of language exchange. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of an inside joke, but the language exchange in China, <laughs> like before these apps and stuff, before they made it less weird. Whoa, I can teach you Chinese. It, works, it comes from me and like terrible Chinese from a foreigner. And he's like, <laughs> 我要学习中文,我教你英文好不好? <laughs> Good idea. Exactly. So. These, uh, these kind of apps that are popping up, especially Hello Talk, the one that we played with, mm. is really crazy because it's kind of like, it runs almost like Tinder or one of those dating apps without the kind of sleazy like background behind of it. As soon as I turn this app on, as soon as we turn it on, we are getting people that are saying, hey, let's, let's learn together. Yeah. And they have a profile that shows you how many things they've corrected, how many mm -hmm. people they've helped. So it's like you have a reputation. It was pretty cool. You can have like this uh, introduction, voice hey, introduction. Is here, and and you can have conversations videos. with people and they give you all the tools. And I'm going to go back in time, like if I met a person and tried to speak Chinese, I would always have my dictionary and my notebook and I'd end up drawing pictures on napkins and stuff, right? So even if it was so difficult that I couldn't communicate my idea and had to draw a picture, you can do that on this app too, which I thought was really, really cool. And uh, be able to follow people's lives like all the way across the world. So for me, it was, it's like frustrating because back then it's so awkward to meet people if you don't speak their language. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people that watch our videos in China think that we came together and anyone can come together really, really easily and nonchalantly because they don't understand how big the language gap can be, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you also don't want to have those like romance and you just want to study and you want your own same gender and the same age range, you can also set that. That's like really amazing for you. Yeah, that and like I always I always had this belief that um, you had to be in a certain country to be able to learn a language. Mm -hmm. So when I moved to China, like there's no way I would have learned Chinese in America. That's for sure, right? Because you're not surrounded by the language and that's absolutely key. You should be surrounded by it all the time. But with uh, with this app, with Hello Talk, you can surround yourself with native speakers the entire time. So if you you know if you want to spend your entire time on here and use it as your social media app, your language will come along. Mm -hmm. Number number three, I thought it was really cool that you can actually have it speak. Like so, you sent me a message. So it actually reads it to you, so you know what it is. And for Chinese speakers, at least, this is really really good for me. 
you put it in pinyin and it has all the tones. Yeah. So you listen to it and you can see which tone it is. Right? Mm, I thought that was that awesome. Too. I and also that was so you cool. can learn the like, because you actually talk to the native speaker, so you also can learn a lot of slang in there. That was a huge, a huge thing that I noticed. Actually, I, I gave you a little example. So I said, uh, you were giving me some really creepy, creepy ass messages <laughs> pretending to be a, a girl trying to find a handsome boy like me. And I replied to you. And if I was learning Chinese out of a book four years ago, right, as I was, I wouldn't understand what I replied to you, right? Mm -hmm. But with this, it's slang and then you would be able to explain it to me or vice versa, yeah. right? And if you didn't know what I was talking about, I could just draw a picture of, of grass, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. Now you know what I'm talking about. Oh, right? nice grass. Thanks. So, <laughs> I was never known to be an artist. Okay. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Thanks. I really appreciate it. I thought this was a really interesting opportunity because it gave me a chance to talk to everyone about how I learn Chinese and how bitterly angry I am that it's so much easier nowadays. Once again, app to how I eating So, what kind of language you want to learn? I think I probably want to learn Spanish because I think it's so useful for my business. I have a lot of clients. Creo que te amo más que tu a mí porque quiero aprender cantones para ti y quieres aprender español para los negocios. 咁你係到口嘅豬肉啊嘛，唔緊要啦。